Phantom Market has been here as an IGA for years and years. Uh, David Brenner bought it about 10 years ago uh, to go raise the market in Connecticut. Pretty much an organic specialty store. Maybe we go about half organic. Uh, we do a lot of local purchases, of course, off of Much Farm, Vibrant Farm, Hungry Reaper, a lot of smaller uh, local farmers have been popping up. Customers want a local, it doesn't have to travel as far, it's fresher. Uh, everyone wants the local stuff. As soon as you put it on the shelf, usually it's gone that day. Uh, this, so this year, a lot of the farmers are growing a lot more product from us. You can see we're already buying two or three times a week, and it's, it's just April now, so it's going to hopefully be a long growing season. The farmers uh, tell me what they have, and I buy it no matter what. Uh, anytime you guys need to clean up after the markets, so we'll buy all that on the weekends. And it's usually gone as soon. A lot of the farms also have the hot houses, so we're already getting a lot of lettuce from them. Um, Probably another two weeks to start seeing anything, anything from the outside. But yeah, once they have it, we'll be going uh, all all summer, all the way up until apple season is over. Of course, this is all national brands right now. With summertime, like this whole wall right here, we'll switch to local products. Anything we can buy local, we just multiply from the major warehouses. Yeah, we always have something. And uh, through about half the winter, we'll still have uh, March Farm apples per se, some uh, potatoes and carrots, any root vegetables out of the cellar. So I think this year we cleaned up. November, right after about Thanksgiving. For Christmas, we saw a few boxes of apples left, but yeah, we uh, cleared it out pretty quick this year. Um, right around Thanksgiving, Christmas time, so we're, we're probably selling a thousand pounds of apples a day here. So we would have this whole wall just piled up March Farm apples, send the boxes back empty, and they'd refill them for us. And so it's always a lot cheaper to buy local, especially nowadays with all the transportation issues there's been. Um, you know, boy, you guys got to drive it 10 miles to get here and otherwise coming from thousands of miles away, uh, a lot of West Coast stuff. So yeah, everything's gone up quite a bit. Uh, we try to keep our our produce prices pretty low here. Uh, it's generally just market pricing, but uh, everything, when we go local, it's cheaper. So we pass that along to the customer and uh, they appreciate it. And, uh, you know, even if it was more expensive, I don't think they'd mind. They're gonna buy local anyway. It's the best stuff.